Here it is then, everyone. Greg Menard, the number one player on this by the reigning world champion. Two times a world champion. And this is going to really test that time. Set by Mick Hanna. What can Greg Menard do here? One here 12 months ago, the World Cup race here. And you've got a feeling, man, that under pressure, and Menard, probably the biggest race of his life here. Worlds on home soil, defending that world title. Fast there, mate, fast there. And he's fast in the split, number one, Nigel. 147, the time for him. Oh, he didn't even touch that rock in the middle there. So Minar letting it roll on this top section. Minar must look. He must know every single inch of this track, Rob. He's pedalling everywhere. He's got the speed. He just, he's got the home crowd. He's got the pressure. He's got it all. He's running one of the lightest bikes in the race, Rob. 32.39 pounds, apparently, that bike. He's running single ply tyres. Look how much speed he's able to oh carry into them tabletops. And cleverly not pedalling there, saving his energy, perhaps, for that big pedal in the middle. So I think this is going to be that time. Set by Mick Hanna. He's coming up to the second split now. Three times a silver medalist as well. And he's never been out of the top two here on this track. Two wins out of the three times the World this Cup. Fast Rob is pedalling in the bird. Oh, he's unbelievable. Oh, he's he's six, six back. Hannah's bottom section, no. Perhaps beatable. Hannah fast into that turn there. What can Minard do? Pedaling, man. This guy, the determination, the crowd will lift Greg here. He can hear the home crowd shouting for him. And under pressure, he just seems to get fat. Tight line there, Nigel. No. Really tight into that bridge there. He's Listen tired the as crowd. well, though, Rob. I think it's going to be a tall order to make up 0.8 of a second on Mick. Mick was tired, but so is Greg. But he's pedaling as hard as he can, Rob. It's going to be close. Never has Greg Menard dug deeper. Here he comes then, just two jumps to go over this hip jump. He's safely over that. Just a step down through. One, he's not going he gonna do it. He goes fastest. Oh, look at the time. Point three, nine, six up. Greg Menard delivers what could be a gold medal run here. Has he defended his world title? I don't know. Unbelievable. We saw it last year. He pulled so much time back on the bomb. And Minar has done it again. Fair Incredible. Play Hannah's dream of being world champion is over. Look at that, Nigel. It was wild, Rob. He was laying it all on the line up there. And how the heck did he pull that time back at the bottom? I know Mick was tired, but Greg must have been hurting so bad as well. It's exhausting watching. I think the home crowd atmosphere dragged him down that bottom section at that speed because that was fantastic. Absolutely. Unbelievable. That run was so sweet. My teeth actually hurt now. Unbelievable riding from Minard, dude. Well, the World Championships, only the World Championships, I think, delivers passion on here. I don't know. No, I think you've got to give it away to Greg Minard winning in his hometown. You couldn't get much better than that. And G goes in seventh place, 4.3 back. It's all about Greg Minard, 2013 UCI man and by world champion. There's CP first in to congratulate him. Of course, Mick Hanna, well, just point three away there with that silver medal. Jared Graves on a single crown fourth, 26 inch wheel. Trail bike takes third, 3.333 back. And it's been an unbelievable afternoon for Greg Minard, man. I don't know what to say, he is just an unbelievable athlete. All the pressure, everyone's been saying Minard's going to win it all week. You know, he has, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. To deal with all that pressure, Rob, and uh, come through and win well on his home soil.